force of what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us, penetrates us, it binds the galaxy together. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Legends Library. It is me, Kate, again here solo, and today I'm going to be talking about something that I had been meaning to talk about, again, like my video that I previously posted. It's a video that I've been meaning to record for a while, that being a video on Grey Jedi, what they are, and what they most definitely are not. So, I will start off by starting with a quote from the Jedi Path, which is a in-universe kind of the how-to on how to be a Jedi. Saying here on page, I don't know what page it is. I have it on front of me, my Kindle. So, uh, the so-called gray Jedi have been with us since the beginning. Although they do not break with the Jedi orthodoxy concerning the dark side, they bristle when asked to take orders from the council. Gray Jedi make compromises, cut corners, and hide their actions from scrutiny. Under all the assumption that their experience makes them authorities on policy. They are mavericks who are difficult to control, but can be valued members of the order after they have been persuaded to follow the established hierarchy. What is the big thing that is missing from this quote that I have read verbatim from the Jedi Path? It is the commonly held misconception that Grey Jedi are some different organization that they aren't actually Jedi, and it's just a term applied to them by Jedi. That the Grey Jedi use both the light and the dark side of the Force equally. Well, I'm very sorry to say, but that is, well, it just is most definitely not the truth. Now, I'm sure you've seen this image popping around a lot if you're a longtime Star Wars fan who's done anything kind of on kind of anything on a Star Wars online forum, and that is the, air quotes, Great Jedi Code, which I will now read for you. There is no dark side, nor a light side. There is only the Force. I will do what I must to keep the balance. The balance is what keeps me together. There is no good without evil, but evil must not be allowed to flourish. There is passion, yet emotion. Serenity, yet peace. Chaos, yet order. I am the wielder of the flame, the protector of balance. I am the holder of the torch, lighting the way. I am the keeper of the flame, soldier of balance. I am a guardian of balance. I am a gray Jedi. I will say this is 100%, nay, 150, still not enough. This is 10,000%, like, just bogus. Somebody wrote it probably for, like, an OC character that they made for, like, an RPG or something. This is by no means ever been uh canon in, in either the expanded universe nor in the current disney canon there is no gray jedi code gray jedi are not some uh forgotten order of jedi who seek balance the whole seeking balance thing again comes from this misconception that the jedi are wrong and that the in order for the galaxy to quote unquote thrive or be balanced you need to have the dark and the light side which no one's really saying get rid of the dark side they're saying get rid of the sith which is a order that uses the dark side so this is where people get into very very common misheld things especially on gray jedi specifically if you go to the wikipedia page for gray jedi the very very first things that you will see and again i am reading it directly off of the wikipedia page as of 5 18 2020 at 1 26 p.m the term gray jedi or gray has two meanings first it was used by jedi and sith to describe force users who walked the line between the light and dark sides of the force without surrendering to the dark side and second it described jedi who distanced themselves from the jedi high council and operated outside the script strictures of the jedi code However, those who were considered to be true Grey met both qualifications and did not belong to any particular organization. 
One example was Jolie Bindo, a former Jedi Padawan and a Grey Jedi that served the Old Republic. No. Again, I'm very sorry, but this is a big reason for why I advocate for reading the sources yourself and also staying away from some channels on YouTube who will go along just with what the wiki says. If you scroll down again and down and down, it gives little things about when it was created, uh, and then you get to their traits and techniques. And this is where I have the biggest problem with people who are who say um, a character is quote-unquote a Grey Jedi, or they make a Grey Jedi OC. If you don't know, OC is original character, which is fine. Making characters is fun for like an RPG or stuff I'm involved in several like D, D campaigns that take place in the star wars setting and i'm even the game master of one of them they're very fun to do your own um character can be very fun and obviously of course if it's in an rpg who cares you can screw with the lore if you want but then i think some of those things ended up getting transferred over and are now commonly thought of to be a canon subject which they aren't and here is the thing that I have the biggest problem with. Again, this comes from the Wikipedia page of Grey Jedi under Traits and Techniques. As of 1.29 p.m. on 5.18.2020. Grey Jedi called on the dark side of the Force, but were not corrupted by it and did not embrace it entirely. In fact, some Grey Jedi opposed those who embraced the dark side. Bindo fought against the Sith Empire during the Great Sith War, and again during the Jedi Civil War. While Grey Jedi displayed a lack of adherence to the light side of the Force, they were free of dark side corruption. Beings who were corrupted by the dark side were not considered to be Grey Jedi, nor were Jedi who fell to the dark side and were later redeemed. Still, some Jedi thought the Grey Jedi carried the dark side's influence within them, even if the Grey Jedi did not always realize it. The term did not refer to Force users who believed there was no dark side of the Force, such as individuals who were followers of the Potentium theory. Again, this is very wrong, and it goes on to continue to be wrong, and I'll get to it after I read some more misinformation. All Grey Jedi displayed the use of both light and dark side force abilities, and demonstrated skill with techniques common to Jedi and Sith, such as the ability to construct and wield a lightsaber, as well as some unique force talents. Bindo acquitted himself for being talented with Jedi mind tricks, and was capable of using dark side techniques, such as Force Lightning. So, here is the main problem with that. You don't have to be a quote-unquote Grey Jedi to use light or dark side abilities. They are abilities that can be accessed. Uh, the biggest example of this would be Kyle Katarn or Jaden Kaur, who were both Jedi and used Force Lightning and Force Choke. It's called Force Grip at the game, obviously. The biggest problem with this is saying that Jolie Bindo was capable of using dark side techniques such as force lightning, which of course he is. However, it's never stated anywhere that Jolie Bindo used force lightning. Granted, he never appears in anything other than the first KOTOR game, where obviously you have the ability to have him use force lightning. Then by that same logic, would not also Bastila at her time of being a, a Jedi would she not also be a Grey Jedi then? Because she has the uh, capability of using Force Lightning? Or Juhani, for example? Or you get into Knights of the Old Republic 2. If you train your companions to be Jedi, well, they can also use Force Lightning. The Exile, who was canonically a light side Jedi female, has the opportunity to use Force Lightning. This doesn't make someone a quote-unquote Grey Jedi. It just means that they're using a dark side ability, which the Council wouldn't like. Uh, Plo Koon, for example, used Electric Judgment, which was a very, very dialed, dialed, way back version of Force Lightning. Is he a Grey Jedi? Of course not. So, the biggest problem with terms like this isn't that they exist. Because, in fact, where does the term Grey Jedi come from? Well, it, as far as to my knowledge, it comes from Knights of the Old Republic 2, which seems like it would be the perfect place in a setting such as that with a lot of 
gray moral ambiguity to introduce something like a gray Jedi? Well, I happen to hear, and also now on the screen, have a video of, or a picture, excuse me, of the definition of a gray Jedi from the gray Jedi rope, which, again, to my knowledge, is the first time the term gray Jedi ever appeared. So, gray Jedi robe. Obviously, you can see there are feats required of Jedi defense. It gives a defense bonus and a charisma bonus, and it regenerates your force points. Is any of that important? No, but I just thought like reading it because I'm kind of uh, a geek for Knights of the Old Republic. Great Jedi are those who, though having completed the teachings of the Jedi, operate independently and outside of the Jedi Council. They are typically seen as misguided, though they have not necessarily succumbed to the dark side. Nowhere in this does it say that they are a separate organization. Nowhere does it say that they use both the light and dark side of the Force, or that they are indeed, quote-unquote, balanced between the two, which I will touch on. It simply says that they operate outside the Jedi Council. Now, you could take this meaning, I suppose, to mean that they are Jedi who have graduated the teachings, and then went on to operate outside of the Jedi Order completely. Now, you could definitely make that argument, and that could be maybe what they planned. Again, I've never talked to anyone who worked on Night Sealed Republic. All I know is in-universe, I don't know any time anyone's ever been called a Grey Jedi. I've seen quotes floating around on the wiki talking about how Qui-Gon was described as gray, or there are Tebow Paladins who were removed, but they're, they call themselves gray. That's just giving themselves a name, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're gray Jedi. I don't really think so, because in order to be a Jedi, you're, you're working with the light side of the Force you're not walking this balance. And here's where I'm gonna get into it. Balance, you see it all the time brought up, especially with Grey Jedi, where people think that having balance in the force can extend to be an internal thing where you have to have this balance of the light and dark side. You need to keep all this stuff in check. Well, I'm sorry, but no, the dark side is not a force for good in Star Wars. It's from the very beginning, it's shown to be a, a, a corrupting kind of thing. Like you've seen what Sidious looks like. If you played Knights of the Old, of the Old Republic one and two, your character gets a, this disgusting, like pale gray, almost like a stone colored face and starts to show veins under their eyes and their eyes go this disgusting yellow color and their hair goes from you know, brown to brown to white in Night's Seal Republic 2, and this can happen to all of your companions, where it's shown time and time again that the dark side is this corrupting force, and that it's not a good thing to, to be reliant on. Whereas on the opposite side, if you choose to follow the light side in those games, your character gets a very clear complexion. They almost, I guess you could be said to be glowing. Your hair retains its natural color. So this idea of Grey Jedi being, to quote the completely fake made up Grey Jedi code, a soldier of balance, is just baloney. It's bumkiss, bogus, BS, bullcocky. And I just have to say, if you take anything at all away from this video, it's that the Grey Jedi were a thing. They definitely were a thing. They weren't very referenced, as far as I know. But what they aren't is a separate order. What they aren't is some keepers of, air quotes, balance. Because if you ask George Lucas, the person who made Star Wars, balance is the Sith and dark side being defeated. And as well as I am to give George Lucas credit on anything, it seems... That seems to be something that makes sense. And I would delve deeper, but it's an, it's another video for another time talking about balance and what it could mean and where it came from. 
So I hope you enjoyed this little video on what Grey Jedi are and what they aren't. And hopefully now you can go forward <laughs> in the light and basking in the knowledge that Grey Jedi are not some special thing. But do know, if you want to make some kind of, air quotes, Grey Jedi character in your RPG game or just drawing or whatever you like to do, so go ahead and do it. But don't allow these fanon, and woe as I am to use that term, don't let these fanon elements become, think that they have become reality. Because things like this are very unsubstantiated and kind of lame and a little bit too OC to really fit in the universe. So, um, again, these statements are not made to be inflammatory towards anyone who is a fan of these. Just know that you're wrong, and it's okay to be wrong. Everyone's wrong every once in a while. So if you see someone talking about Grey Jedi and what they are, and that they're these keepers of the balance uh, who use Force Lightning as just as easily as they use Force Choke, please feel free to send them this video. I've talked to people who are fans of the ideas of the made-up versions of Grey Jedi, and I will probably be doing it until I'm on my deathbed, because some people just refuse to listen and see that they're wrong. I'm wrong sometimes, and the commonly held definition, uh, the fanon definition, the fake definition, the non-existent in the Star Wars universe, as far as I know, definition is also wrong. Thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time, hopefully very soon.